Hi, Hi, love. Hi, babe. How are you? Good. What are you doing? I am packing up a few more bits and pieces. For the van? Yeah. I've okay. been shopping today without you, so I just got to buy everything I wanted. <laughs> well, listen, I'm off to get the solar panels. Good luck. So, um, you guys might as well come with me. And I've got the van today. Let me show you the van. I'm not sure I've shown you the van. Look at the sign writing they put on the van at work. Banksy art. Hey, how cool's that? Right, we're off to Midsummer Energy to grab the solar panels and some sundry items for the van. We've got a big upgrade on the electrics too on the van, and I will show you that in due course. One thing I didn't tell you is this is an electric van. Um, it's a Citroen E Dispatch. We've had it about 18 months now. Not done many miles. We've done just under 5,000 miles uh, and it's got 171 miles of range so that's plenty to get me to Cambridge and back so another thing we've broken is the catch offer here has come off don't know where it's gone but I ordered another one um, on Amazon unfortunately it was like 4.95 wasn't cheap but at least I just clip that back on there now Good, isn't he? Good morning. Today we are having two new solar panels fitted to the van. Um, the van, I think, came with two 100 watt solar panels, and we've got two large 375 watt solar panels going on as well. So that's going to give us a total of 950 watts of solar on the roof. So compared to our last van, which I think had 120 watts of solar, it's a nice big upgrade. So we have Bruce who is leading the job today. Um, we fixed these alley brackets on the panels already. Um, and we've marked on the roof where it's gonna go. And we've also roughed up, because of course I've had a ceramic coating put on the van. So we need to take that off. We've, uh, we've keyed the roof, we've keyed the aluminium. Um, activating it. We're activating it with the Sikaflex activator. And we've got plenty of 522 Sikaflex to stick these on the roof. Phil's also here overlooking the job. I'd, well, when I say overlooking, underlooking at the moment, I'm like <laughs> chilling in the sunshine. But looking good, Phil, I've got to say. <laughs> so many solar panels are fitted with just the small corner plastic brackets. But we're using two long pieces of aluminium angle going right the way across the length of the panels. And in total, that's given us an area of 1,750 square centimetres to bond to the roof. So these are going to stick really, really well but we'll also put some mechanical fixings in at the end once the Sikaflex is set. A nice big bead of Sikaflex going down. What's that, a six mil, Bruce? Yep. Fantastic. So Bruce, what are we doing now? You've got some tile spacers there. Yeah, this is plastic tile spacers, which is ideal when, to put in the bead of Sikaflex. And what it does is when you squish it down, it won't let it go any further than that, which means that you still get a bead of Sikaflex between I see. Join. So it'll only go to a three mil. People, right. Exactly. A lot of people stick the, the Sikaflex down and then push the panel really hard. And, and they also go with a, a thin long bead. Right. And then push the panel down and squeeze all the Sikaflex out. This stops the, the Sikaflex from being entirely squeezed out and then leaves that minimum of three mils to actually bond to the surface of the solar panel and roof. So you Clever just, idea. You just want a few just spaced out evenly along there, yeah, right. Evenly. And then when you put the solar panel on, it's not going to go anywhere. We'll still have a good three mil with Sika Flex on there, right. We don't need the tins anymore. Right, we can get away with them. Yeah. Okay. Anything okay. like that? Yeah, that's fine. You need cream of mushroom soup in your toolbox to hold the solar panels up as well, right? Not tomato soup. Who said there's not much room on the roof? <laughs> <laughs> Last year at the Adventure Overland show, Bruce thought it'd be funny to cut up one of our Roman Radford stickers and uh, deface it. And he's still got it stuck on the van. Look at this. <laughs> Very funny, Bruce. Okay, the predicament we're in now is we need to remove this solar panel because we've got a big panel going here. And we're gonna remount that one just here. 
However, it's proven a pain to get this off the roof. It's fixed very, very well indeed. So we've tried a bit of everything. Um, and we're going with plan C. Right guys, I'm going to leave you to it because I'm going to go and pick up the carpets. The carpets I dropped off to get edged are now ready. Always a half time, half day, <laughs> half a day. I don't want to see them do this bit, that's what it is. I want when we're making me coals in the roof. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so I'll be back in a mo. Hiya. How are you? Hello. How are you? Not so bad, thanks. Excellent. Oh, they look fantastic. So they look all Love the contrast with the two colours. Yeah, colors. just, yeah. A few people have said this, stand out. this is, yeah, the darker colour on the floor for sure. All right. Very, very much. You're indeed. welcome. And it's binder rug in Milton Keynes if you guys want to take make use of their service, all right? Thank you. No worries. Got the carpet. Yay! What do you think? Have a look. Oh, gosh. Huh? Hey. Yep, it's very um, carpety. What do you mean? It's lovely. It's that nice grey silver yeah. with a dark edging on it. That corner is a beautiful corner of carpet. I'm going to get it down and have a look. Oh, that, that one instead. Yeah, that corner looks okay as well. If, yeah, if both yeah. of those corners look You think so? The thing I'll is, get it now. The thing it. is, if Steve passes out on that carpet, you won't find it. <laughs> I'll have to make sure he's wearing a bright t-shirt. <laughs> Let's get it down and see what it looks like. It's going to look fabulous, it's fine. Would you prefer the stripy one? Yes. You knew that. Get in the comments, the stripy one or this one. And there is the carpet in the back of the motorhome. And there is the carpet in the front of the motorhome. I think it looks fantastic. What do you reckon? Perfect. There's them brackets cut off. So we can now put the solar panel over the top of them. So good old Bruce has lined up this pink line so the other solar panel goes perfectly in the same place as the other one right here. Take the soup out and then we're going to place it. Ah, easy said than done. Yeah, I know. Okay, you got it? You yeah. can't put your arm. You can hold the edges here. Let me get over this one. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Yes, sir. Okay. To me. No, it's going to go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah? I still could go to me a couple of mil, no? Well, it should be two mil from okay. the tape. In that case, oh, in that case, yeah. Two or three mil. In that case. I'm, I'm about two or three mil. Yeah. And just press it down. That's it. Okay, on to the final big one now. Look at this roof. Full of solar. It makes me happy to see all this solar on the roof. Considering we only had 260s on the last hand and I couldn't fit any more on the roof. And we've got 950 on this one. So I'm a very, very happy man that Bruce and Phil has come to help with this. Um, I wouldn't know where to start with this install, to be honest with you. Um, but Bruce has done quite a few of these installs now. Now, if you guys want solar panels fitting um, or you want some help with that or maybe some advice Bruce is happy to help so drop him an email um, at bruce at brucelauderdale.com um, and let him know what you're after I'm sure he'll be able to help you install your solar panels tell him I sent you <laughs>